Enabled Workflow Automation is an exciting new initiative ready to be implemented in customer service. The American Express Correspondence Reengineering Team, together with Unisys, has built a system that will allow customer service representatives to be able to view images of customer correspondence online at their desktop computer. When the Correspondence Reengineering Team was first formed in 1995, the gaps to best-in-class performance in correspondence processing were identified and imaging was one of the enablers recognized that could help close those gaps. The team benchmarked several companies that had installed imaging systems and proposals were obtained from several vendors who could supply American Express with the technology needed. Before imaging could be designed and implemented, however, other correspondence re-engineering initiatives needed to be complete. Prior to re-engineering, Written inquiries from card members and merchants were sent to any of 10 locations at American Express. Most of this correspondence was then routed to one of five different mail rooms across the country and often rerouted to the correct service centers for handling. If a customer response was required, a letter was printed at any of five locations on one of seven systems and a possible 78 different letterheads. The first step was to consolidate correspondence processing from all U.S. payment service centers and operating centers to American Express Service Center, Fort Lauderdale. Streamlining the dispute handling processes have also been an important part of the re-engineering effort. The letter process has been re-engineered to accomplish the goal of developing a utility letter generation process that would be effective, efficient, and adaptable. All outgoing mail processing has been consolidated at American Express Service Center, Fort Lauderdale, using one universal letterhead and outer envelope through a single system platform. The implementation of image-enabled workflow automation completes the correspondence re-engineering process and is the initiative that we will focus on today. Before introducing image-enabled workflow automation, let's review the process before it was re-engineered. With the consolidation of correspondence processing, American Express Service Center Fort Lauderdale receives 8 million paper documents annually, which total over 17 million pages, and result in 24 million handoffs. These documents were manually sorted, routed, copied, rerouted, filmed, and filed. If this process was left intact, housing all of the paper would be a tremendous strain on the building's infrastructure. Let's take a look at how the paper was processed. Mail was received at the Fort Lauderdale Service Center several times a day, six days per week. In addition to receiving mail, hundreds of faxes were received every day from card members and merchants. Each document then needed to be analyzed and routed to the correct representative for handling. Some documents were stored temporarily in customer service until an inquiry was resolved. The document was then routed to a media coordinator for copying to include with correspondence back to the customer. Finally, each document was filmed and stored in accordance with compliance guidelines. Here is how we begin to improve our image of the correspondence process. Our process begins when the mail is delivered to American Express Service Center Fort Lauderdale on a daily basis. After the mail is delivered, it is prepared and batched by source, which is called rough sort. The mail is then opened and sorted based on document class. It is then prepared for scanning by removing all staples and paper clips, and if necessary, repairing torn documents. Documents are separated by single or multiple pages, and are grouped into batches of 50 or less. A cover sheet, which contains key information about the batch, is attached as a header sheet. The batches are then delivered to the scan operator. Faxes are sent directly into the imaging system. The batches of mail are then scanned into the imaging system. Two Kodak high volume scanners are used to scan documents into the imaging system. The scanners convert paper documents into electronic media. The monitors allow the operators to quickly view the images and detect problems. Document class, receipt date, source and priority are vital pieces of information captured at scanning. Paper documents are stored for seven days in files located near the high volume scanners. 
After seven days, the documents are shredded, but the images still exist in short-term storage within the imaging system. After the document has completed the customer service process, the image is moved to long-term storage on optical disk. The long-term storage period varies by product and type of mail and is governed by compliance guidelines. Customer mail is divided into two categories. The first is called gum or general unformatted mail. Gum mail is any incoming handwritten or typed correspondence from a card member or merchant not on a pre-printed form. In the index area, representatives quickly review each image to determine what action is being requested. After the basic request is determined, the account number is entered and a category code is assigned. Once the image is indexed, behind the scenes the image system obtains information from the mainframe, including product, next billing date, and which system the account resides on. It also posts customer service actions to lift memo cases to indicate receipt of correspondence. The correspondence is stored in queues, and a representative's view into those queues varies based on a predefined skill set. For example, one representative may have a view into the English maintenance for RCP queue. Imagine that the red boxes are the English maintenance for RCP queues and that this type of work is all that can be accessed in this queue. Another representative may see the Optima case setup queue. Based on the category code, product, and language, correspondence representatives' work lists contain documents to be worked in priority sequence based on cycle cut and compliance guidelines. At the same time the image is presented to the representative, the system uses the document characteristics to prefetch the appropriate first IMS screen. General inquiry, maintenance, case setup, and credit administration are all part of processing general unformatted mail. But now, we will see how smart mail is processed through the imaging system. A smart document is a formatted letter or remittance stub which is received from a card member or merchant. The imaged correspondence is considered smart because the barcode at the bottom of the letter can be read by Optical Character Recognition, or OCR, and mark sense or check boxes can also be machine read. Specific information is auto-filled into the index form and processed by automation or routed to the appropriate representative for handling. Customer service representatives can quickly view image documents by accessing an action placed on a case at the time of case setup or by the OCR function. By performing a few simple tasks, a customer service representative can send a letter with an image attached. When an image is processed with a letter, the two are printed together folded and mailed directly to the receiving party, eliminating up to five days of processing time for a customer service representative to receive the letter, copy and match the support, and mail. Imaged enabled workflow automation will enable correspondence to be processed efficiently and effectively, improving service, reducing cost, and providing management reporting to facilitate continuous process improvement. The imaging system is very flexible and provides a utility platform that will continue to support our ever-changing business at American Express.